What's going on, guys? I am Mike, your movie idiot, and this is uh, the Movie Idiot Show. We are not live. This is pre-recorded. Um, I haven't done a show in a while. Um, this isn't a full show, but I did want to jump on here and talk about the book of Boba Shit. I mean, Boba Fett. Um, yep, so we are three episodes in on the book of Boba Fett, and um, I got to tell you guys, for me, for me, this show is pretty bad. I, I'm going to stop short of garbage it's not garbage but it's pretty damn bad and i'm going to tell you guys why i feel that way um i i will say this it's not like i went into the show expecting it to be like this great amazing wonderful super awesome crazy cool mandalorian level thing right like that that wasn't what i was expecting with the book of boba fett but I was expecting pretty good. It's still produced by John Favreau. Robert Rodriguez is a really great director. I love him. Um, and I was expecting a lot. Um, I loved what they did with Boba Fett in Mandalorian season, um, in the last Mandalorian season. So, like, there was a lot there for me that I was hoping for. And this just has not paid off for me at all. Um, I find it boring most of the time. I find the CGI really bad it's like they they gave this one they they took the mandalorian budget and cut it into a quarter and then gave that to boba fett they're like here we're gonna, we're gonna give you a few bucks and you guys make something and it, it like oftentimes looks really bad um i'm not impressed um i'm just as a whole not impressed i'm not interested in the characters i'm not interested in the storyline um, this is, by the way, before I get it all into this, this is going to be a spoiler discussion of episodes one through three, but to be honest, there isn't a whole lot to spoil, and that's part of my problem too. I don't feel like this story is going anywhere. I feel like the story is very all over the place. It's back here, it's over here, it's flashback, it's this. Don't get me wrong, there's some cool visuals, um... You know, I, I, I love some of the flashbacks to when Bobo was a boy, um, some of the flashbacks to, you know, obviously when Django dies, um, but we've seen all that. Like, we don't have to go back there again. And it, it, all right, let's get into it here. So let's, I'm going to do this kind of as character, like, I'm going to go through it pretty much character by character and, you know, how it pertains to the show. That's kind of my, the way I'm going to go after this. So here we go. Character by character. And... Uh, the, all right, so let's start, obviously, with Boba Fett, right? So Boba, you know, this is all about him, right? So Boba is taken over, and he is, you know, walked in, killed Bib Fortuna. He takes over the thing. Now, the whole thing with Boba, <clears throat> excuse me, he wants to run um, Jabba's, you know, old syndicate, but he wants to do it with respect, right? He doesn't, he doesn't want to be feared. He wants to be respected. But it's like... They make him, and I know they're doing this on purpose, but it's almost too much. Boba Fett, like, showed in Mandalorian, he's still a badass, and yet in this, he's yet to retaliate on anything. He does, he keeps getting his ass kicked and does nothing about it. And I'm sorry, if you're a crime boss and you want to be respected, you're going to have to whoop somebody's ass, and he just hasn't and doesn't. And I, I get, oh, he wants to rule with respect rule with respect but i don't feel like he's gaining that respect in tatooine he's actually losing it. it it's pretty bad and i just feel like at this point i don't know man i just don't like what they're doing and the biggest part with boba the character and what they're doing that i don't like is um they are um they're making him they're doing all these flashbacks right so it's back to the tuscan raiders and how he got out of the Sarlacc pit. And I will say this. The scene where he climbs out of the Sarlacc pit, which we all have always wanted to see, very cool. But other than that, it's a wasted thing. All the Tusken Raider stuff for me doesn't work. It's all wasted. What They could have done a two-minute montage on that and then gotten to the meat of what's going on now and where he's moving and progressing from here. I really don't give a shit. And, and I know they're working towards stuff, and we're going to get into a little, little bit later when we start talking about the Pikes, and I know they're working towards something, but I, I just feel like it's overkill. It's all so much overkill. I, I don't like what they're doing with Boba as a character in general. I, I just feel like it's very 
poorly done. And I'm just not impressed. I'm really not impressed. This show would be much better if one of two ways. Let's say they kept it all the same, right? All the same shots, but did it chronologically. Did it from the Sarlacc point. Just chronologically did it from here to here. Go chronological. I think I would have liked it better. I think part of the issue is the jumping back and forth, though. Flashback here again. Flashback here again. Just why? Why do that? I don't think it's necessary, and I think it makes it, like, uh, what's the word? Convoluted? I don't know. Like, it's just, bleh. I'm not interested, and it, and, it, and just when I start getting interested into the story of what's happening right now, and him taking over everything, and you know, all of that, I get very disinterested, because they flip back to the Tusken Raiders again, it's like, dude, I, I get it, okay, they saved him, they taught him how to fight, cool, let's move on, you know, I, I just, I'm not feeling all of that, all of that, and, and the Boba Fett arc in his own show, for me, doesn't work in my opinion right now through episode three which i just freshly got done watching okay let's talk about fennec fennec was one of the coolest characters i felt in um mandalorian season two Uh, just one of the coolest damn characters and i really loved her and in this again she's just for lack of a better term, neutered. Like, she's she's just... Meh. She's there. Again, a super badass that... Totally underutilized. And it's just boring. And again, it, I just feel like so much time spent on Boba and the Tusken Raiders and all that stuff. And we're getting almost nothing on Fennec Chan. And Ming-Na Wen is an amazing actress. I love her. And they're doing nothing with her. I just feel like it's boring as hell. I am bored. I watched this and I am bored. I don't care for the arc. I don't care for anything. I They gave her so much more storyline and so much more in Mandalorian than they have in this show. Um, and I don't know why. I, I don't get it. It doesn't make sense to me. She's a very interesting character. They can do a lot with her and yet they're giving her nothing to work with and for me it doesn't work again it's just I don't know why they're doing it this way but it just doesn't work it's not working right now and it's unfortunate because again I think Fennec could be an amazing character amazing supporting character and we're getting nothing out of her so uh, again just another reason why I feel like the show just is not working right now Um, and so let's go to the next next character and that's Tusken Raiders It's boring. Boring. The Tusken Raiders storyline is very boring in this. Again, I understand. You know, it's part of it. They definitely should have had it. I don't mind them having them in there. But they spend so much time on Boba's time with Tusken Raiders that they're neglecting what should be the main storyline of where is Boba going? Not where has he been? I really don't give a shit. Like, okay, Tusken Raiders, cool. Yep, they did this. Okay, moving on. And look, maybe they'll tie this all up in the end and I'll look like a fucking idiot. And that's fine. I am more than happy to look like an idiot. But at this point, I just don't feel like this is working. Um, And it's, again, just jumping back and forth. Tusken Raiders back, Tusken Raiders back, Tusken Raiders back, Tusken... Dude, like, just when I start getting interested in storyline, they're jumping to a different storyline. It's annoying. Honestly, it's annoying. And And again, it's just not working for me. Um, another character, the mayor. The mayor, you know, is supposed to be <clears throat> kind of an antagonist, right? We barely see him. He's never there. Um, I think the mayor is more of a puppet character, to be honest, but they're setting him up as kind of an antagonist. I don't know. And now, like, after episode three, he's in with the Pikes. Um, sure. I just, I'm not interested. Again, a character that could be a great antagonist against Boba that could really like beef up this thing. And it just doesn't for me at all. Um, I, you know what? Uh, let me put it to you this way. I got more out of the character in Mandalorian season two who um, Ahsoka fought. I forget her name right this second. Um, but the main villain of just that one episode, I got more out of that one character in Mandalorian episode two than in, that what two 
three episodes we've had of Boba Fett and we're getting nothing out of the mayor as an antagonist. And I feel like there should be more. And there's just not. Again, shallow character development, in my opinion. I'm just not feeling it. I, and I, I'm i going to start saying this. Like, I know, you know, this is created by John Favreau. But if you noticed, he's not very, he's not writing any of these. And it shows. The lack of John Favreau shows. And this is Robert Rodriguez's project and baby. And I got to tell you, I feel like he's dropping the ball. And that sucks because I like Robert Rodriguez. I love his work. But this, and and I will also say, to be fair, though, when he did um, his episode in Mandalorian Season 2, it was one of my least favorite. So, I, I just, Robert Rodriguez in the Star Wars universe, for me, hasn't worked very well. And, again, I feel like it's showing here. It's not working very well, in my opinion. Uh, moving on to the next character. The Huts. Now, this should be a huge deal. The Twins. You got the twins coming back, and you know um, any of you who have watched, you know, Clone Wars and Rebels, you know, have seen them before. Um, so these are the brother and sister twins of Jabba. Um, and again, just quick cameo and gone kind of thing. You know, like they're supposed to be these, like these are the huts. And then at the end of season three, they're just like, "We're out, bye, haha, we made an appearance, we're gone now." We're leaving this up to you. You you fight the new the new antagonist, whoever that's going to be. They haven't even established who the antagonist of this show is. They took two who are supposed to be two of the most powerful crime syndicate bosses in the galaxy. And they're scared and running away from Tatooine. It just, again, it's not working for me. It's just not... And again, just lack of interest. Like, it's not very interesting. And I just, I don't know. I, again, I don't know. I, 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 and I know I'm stammering over my words right now, but like, I, I'm at a loss because I just expected a lot more out of this. And we're just not getting it, in my opinion. I don't know. Um, so let's move on. Um, we got, um, Kersantin, I think is his name. Um, the, the Wookiee. So, now, this was supposed to be a big cameo. Oh, my God. Big spoiler surprise. Well, dude, more most people won't know who this is. Like, look, I don't consider myself a Star Wars expert, but I am definitely not a Star Wars novice. Okay, I've seen all the movies. I've seen all the shows, including Rebels and um, including um, The Bad Batch, including Clone Wars. I've seen the Clone Wars uh, movie. I've seen even the shitty Christmas specials like... You know, yes, I haven't read all the books or anything, but I've read a few. I love the Thrawn trilogy. That's awesome. But like the point being is that I never even heard of this guy. So this is supposed to be some big, woo, big surprise. And it just isn't because nobody knows who the fuck this dude is. And again, so he kind of has one little pop up in episode two, and then he shows up in episode three. He tries to kill and the huts hire him to kill um, Boba fails they lock him in the rancor pit or whatever and then the huts show up and they're like never mind we're cool sorry here here's a rancor for you and can we just get our prisoner back and then boba offers the prisoner back they're like just kidding that's a tribute you can have him to sell him off so then boba just sets him free he's like no hard feelings guy bye really like I was finally getting interested when this this Wookiee is like kicking the crap out of Boba and all the people that work for him, right? Which Boba ends up getting, you know, a little bit more of a, a force to work for him. And again, a minor storyline. Like, it's just like, oh, here are these kids. Hey, come work for me, kids. You know, it's just like, ugh. Again, the storytelling is, oh, yeah, by the way, too, the other thing that really bothers me is, Episode two, which I thought was the worst episode, was 53 minutes long. Good. Yes. Awesome. Episodes one and three are 39 minutes long. Are you fucking kidding me? Like, come on, man. You have so much more story to tell. You're already telling it shittily, and then you're not expanding on the shittily story that you're telling. I'm getting a little worked up here, guys. And I normally don't snap. But like, usually I enjoy this stuff. And usually I'm the apologist. I'm like, oh, it's going to get better. And look, it may get better. It might get better. 
I hope it gets better. I want it to get better. But so far, for me, this is the book of Boba shit. And again, like this character right here, underutilized in my opinion. Now again, they may they may just tie it off at the end. Maybe, what do we got, four episodes left? I think it's seven total for the Book of Boba Fett. But yeah, so maybe they tie it off in the end. Maybe they figure it out and do it right. But for me right now, it is not working. It is bad. And this is another character that's not fleshed out well. And we had it could have been an amazing, interesting dynamic and another amazing interesting antagonist instead it's just kind of like here's the guy never mind he's gone by anyway and finally that takes us to my favorite part the raincore why is the raincore my favorite part of this show it's the only thing that i was interested in <laughs> like it, it, when they introduced the raincore Although I don't like how they've done it. I don't like the fact that the huts are apologizing. Oh, sorry, Boba. We tried to kill you, but never mind. Here's a Rancor for you, and we're leaving, and bye. But I love how they introduced this as a baby Rancor. Um, they have Danny Trejo as the trainer, which is awesome. I love Danny Trejo, if you don't know who that is. Uh, that is Machete. Um, so he's the trainer of the baby Rancor. He calls him a calf. So, and he says like, you know, when they had him blindfolded and he says, when we take this off, he will imprint on the first human he sees. And that of course was Boba Fett. So like Boba's like the mama of this baby raincore, you know? And I think this is going to be cool. Um, Boba says he wants to learn to ride it, which is awesome. I totally like that could be cool. I could be totally down with that. Seeing Boba Fett riding this baby Rancor into town. Fuck yeah, I'm in. And that's going to be a good payoff, I think. It might be the only part of this show that I actually like. I'm starting to think. But if that's my favorite part, they've screwed something up. And that's the thing. They've screwed something up. And I get it. This is Star Wars, right? There's a lot of politics in Star Wars, and there's a lot of explanation in Star Wars, but I'm used to that. I love Star Wars. I loved The Mandalorian. Mandalorian had a lot of exposition, too. But the action scenes paid off. The CGI was so much better in Mandalorian. I think the storytelling was so much better in Mandalorian. And don't just say Baby Yoda, because, yes, Mandalorian did have Baby Yoda, but that isn't the reason. I was still all in on Din Djarin's character. I was still very interested in his storyline. I could give two shits where Boba goes. And Boba has an interesting backstory. If you watch Clone Wars and Rebels, and uh, or not Rebels, but Clone Wars, if you watch that, you get into some of Boba's backstory. And I just, I don't know, I feel like this drops the ball. Again, it's the inconsistent storytelling, all the back and forth, not fleshing out antagonists. You know, we don't even know, like, oh yeah, so the Pikes are supposed to be like and they they end up showing up at the end the pikes do and they're supposed to be the main antagonist of this show maybe maybe because so far every time they've introduced an antagonist on this show they've pieced out after like two scenes oh i'm going to be the big baddie bye just kidding now we're out of here see ya. and that's the point like it, they're just not they're not fleshing out any of these characters and you only have four episodes left to do it and I just feel like if that's the case, then you should be doing a lot better. So anyway, that's kind of my breakdown of why I think right now this show is the book of Boba shit. The book of Boba shit. And look, again, I will repeat. I want this show. I'm going to look. I want this show to do well. I want it to do well. I want this show to be successful. I want it to be good. So far, it's not working for me. We got four episodes left. Maybe in four episodes, they will be able to increase the production value on this. Uh, they got to do something about the CGI. There's a chase in episode three that's just laughable, whether on speeder bikes or whatever, and riding up the walls and stuff. And it's just like, dude, seriously, this looks like the CGI from Machete. And the whole point of the CGI in Machete was it was supposed to be bad. This is not. So Robert Rodriguez, you need to step up your game. Um, yeah, it's just the whole thing's not working for me so far. But again, four episodes, maybe it will get better. Let me know what you guys think 
in the comments below or you can send in a, a tip if you want to streamlabs.com slash movie idiot uh thank you all again sorry i haven't been on a lot lately um you know lots going on but uh i appreciate you all and i appreciate you watching the video and again comment below i'd love to hear what you guys think do you guys think like i do this is the book of boba shit or do you think I'm full of shit and that this is the most amazing thing you've ever seen? Uh, let me know in the comments below and I will catch you all later. Peace. I'm out of here.